keep boys by my s. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my s. Sean Diddy Combs took to Instagram on Tuesday to show his support for Kanye West amid the musical artist's ongoing battle with the company Adidas. Since the era of Run DMC, Ad Adidas has always used hip-hop to build its brand and make billions off of our culture Diddy, 52, said in an Instagram post. But we are more than just consumers now, we're the owners. Kanye West and Yeezy are the reason Adidas is relevant to culture. We know our value. Diddy said he was done wearing Adidas products until they make this right, adding, we have to support each other, everybody reposts this please he also included a text exchange with West 45, in which he told him, please send me something I could post in support of you, I'll never wear Adidas again for the rest of my life, if they don't make you right West responded, this is the energy this the love in response to Diddy's message, the German sportswear giant responsible for manufacturing West's Yeezy footwear and clothing since its initial launch in 2015, has been accused of designing products under the brand name without his direct involvement. West believes Adidas has taken full creative control over his Yeezy brand and stealing his designs by manufacturing footwear, bearing a close resemblance to his popular boost trainers. But he recently hinted at an impasse with his long-term collaborator. In a post shared before his lawyers stepped in, I could hear the joy in my team's voices today. He wrote in the Apple Notes app, Adidas don't want no more smoke. The move credits are rolling. This war wasn't about money. It was about control of our families, of our businesses, of our story, or our voice, he wrote. West also reposted a comment from his friend producer Swizz Beats, who stood up for the controversial rap after Swizz posted a photo of the shoes that West believes ripped off his Yeezy line, which included a red X through it. Swizz wrote that it was dead wrong. If we let them do this to Kanyeist it will happen to us also. This man created this groundbreaking innovation, and it should be respected as a creative he wrote adding, At Ladidas you're supposed to be original. Do the correct thing please earlier on Monday. West continued his war of words aimed at Adidas executives, as he said he needs to buy his own major shoe company, in order to be the chief decision maker. He shared a text post about wanting to make a major move like Authentic Brand CEO Jamie Salter's purchase of Reebok from Adidas earlier this year. He went on to claim that he's went to JP Morgan to inquire about an acquisition, but managing director and vice chairman of investment banking, Jing Ulrich is on the board of Adidas. West wrote to his 17 million followers, I need a shoe company like how Jamie Salter bought Reebok, or I'll take over some shoe factories. I've went to JP Morgan, but of course they won't give me no deal flow cause J-I-N-G. Ulrich is on the board of both Adidas and JP Morgan. What shoe company will give me control? I need to be the head of the board and chief decision maker. He captioned the text post with a mention of his late mother Donda West. The all of the lights hitmaker said, My mama was an English professor, and I was an English major. I know how to speak correct English, but I'm here to correct the English. West has had a very successful partnership with the Germany-based shoe giant, with his Adidas Yeezy line, which launched in 2015. This was not the first time West has mentioned executive Jing as the previous day he slammed her and other perceived enemies, including Adidas executive Daniel Cherry, Kid Cutie and Pete Davidson. Directing his furor at Cherry, Adidas senior vice president general manager, he let off a slew of threatening and angry messages. In one of the posts he shared a doctored image of Cutie and Cherry, standing side by side, with an Adidas logo pasted on each of their chests. He joked that I'm sure this pick gonna send Adidas stock through the ceiling, you're welcome Jing Ulrich, who is on the board at Adidas and JP Morgan. So it makes sense now that when I wanted to sail, JP Morgan went silent, set against a black background. He typed in all capital white letters, I guarantee you'll have to relocate before I'm legally finished with you. West called the executive a venture capitalist whose sick only adventure is capitalism continuing, can't create, so they try to outcount the creatives, die slow. In a separate but equally upset post he added, now what? Yee's frustration stems from feeling left out of managing the Yeezy Gap brand he helmed. West had posted and deleted a fake New York Times newspaper 
that falsely claimed Adidas CEO Casper Rorsted had died at 60. The rapper wrote, I'm not here to be liked I'd you don't like it leave sick, he said. Just weeks prior he blasted Casper for blatant copying of his Yeezy slides, after Adidas unveiled their Adelette slides. Last week it was revealed that Casper is leaving Adidas in 2023 after working with the brand since 2016. In early August, West posted another fake New York Times newspaper front page, announcing the death of Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian's relationship after they had split. He later reposted it and put a new caption, God loves us it is still up on his Instagram page. Last week, Adidas announced Casper was leaving the company in 2023, he started with the brand in 2016 according to CNBC. His contract with the company was set to end in 2026. Casper and Adidas did not elaborate on why he was leaving before the contract ran out. He will stay in the role until a successor has Boys by my s Know that they ride or die I keep boys by my s Oh, boy Day we hustle, but the night we